Hey family, welcome to Vivian's Kitchen. If you're a new subscriber, you are welcome. In today's video, I decided to show you guys how I make my aloe vera oil. So as you can see, we have my aloe vera right here. I did wash it. And this is the bottles that I'll be using. And I'll be using this organic extra virgin olive oil. Feel free to add any oil of your choice. Some people like to add coconut oil with it, but today I decided to add just extra virgin olive oil. Stay tuned and I'll show you guys. All right guys, so as you can see, I did went ahead and cut the edges of the aloe vera and I cut it in small pieces like cube. You can cut it in a style of your choice, but I always like to cut mine in these little pieces so it makes it so easy and faster to mix the oil. All right, stay tuned and let me take you to the stove and I will show you guys what is next. All right, guys, as you can see, I have my stove on and i have my pots on the stove go ahead and add your extra virgin olive oil in your pot and make sure your stove is on median just put any amount is fine i'm trying to make my little bit um a lot so i'll be using a lot of oil so this oil should be enough for me and at this point some people always like to add coconut oil at this point so if you prefer to add coconut oil as soon as you put your extra virgin olive oil you can go ahead and add your coconut oil in it and just wait for a little seconds and let it heat and go ahead and add your aloe vera in it so add all of them in it and let it cook for about 10 minutes and I'll show you guys when it's done. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so as you can see, it's still going. So you want to make sure the aloe vera is kind of, I would say, say burn like brownish, like a brownish color. So we have to wait for about 10 minutes and I'll show you guys when it's done. As you all know, we all know aloe vera is very good for us. It helps us to treat our skin problems and acne. As you guys can know, if you have like that spot in your face, you can just apply the aloe vera oil in your face. And it's very good for your skin as well. And of course, we all know it's very good for hair growth. Yes, if you really want to grow your hair, I will recommend aloe vera for you. It's very good. And it's also helped to prevent free radical damage. So what I'm telling you, I just did my research. So just feel free to do your research as well and see all the benefits in aloe vera. And you know you will never be disappointed because aloe vera is very good for our body. Yes, especially when it comes to your skin and your hair growth. It's number one. All right, let's get to the video. So as you can see, it's starting to get in brown. All right, so just take your time, be patient, and let it be a little bit brown. And I'll show you guys when it's done. Stay tuned, guys. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Please, it's free to subscribe. Help your sister to get 1000 subscribers okay so i will get monetized <laughs> i know you guys will take me there thank you very much i'll see you guys when it's done stay tuned stay blessed all right guys so as you can see this is the brownish color that you'll be looking for so as you can see it's all done and ready let it sit and cool down before you transfer it in your container. I'll show you guys when it's all cooled down. Stay tuned. All right, family. As you can see, our aloe vera oil are all done. 
it's looking so good as you can see i get about six bottles don't forget to like this video if you do like what i did please subscribe and share and like until i meet you again in the das kitchen stay blessed keep loving each other bye guys